Good afternoon, folks. Uh, my name is uh, Danny Pincho with uh, Danny's Luxury Cruise Vacations, uh, an independent affiliate of the Avoya Travel Network. And today we have the lovely Tiffany from American Queen Voyages, who's taking the time to discuss with us just, you know, 10 or 15 minutes, a little bit about her wonderful company. Uh, they do river cruises. The What's in the background is one of their paddle wheelers. And they also have some uh, new ships. They're doing some expeditions in Alaska and all of that. But we're going to let Tiffany share with us what makes her company so wonderful. And nice to see you, Tiffany. Thanks you. Thank you for joining. Yeah, thank you, Danny. Thanks for inviting me. Happy to be here and happy to share uh, American Queen Voyages with uh, with everyone. So uh, basically, American Queen Voyages, we are in uh on North America, so domestic travel, which is fantastic right now, you know, with everything going on with, you know, the trouble of flying internationally, the cost of flying internationally, and also, you know, with COVID still, still out there. So uh, domestic travel really is a fantastic option. And we are one of the best out there as far as something unique and truly American. So we basically have three different experiences uh, with, under the American Queen Voyages umbrella. So the first experience that we have is our river product, which you can see behind me is one of our, our paddle wheelers. That's the American Queen, our flagship that started it all uh, 10 years ago. Then we have three other paddle wheelers uh, throughout the U.S. rivers. So the Mississippi River is our, is our biggest one, our most popular one that we do. Uh, but we also do the tributaries. And um, so the tributaries are like the Ohio, the Tennessee, the Cumberland, and the Illinois rivers. And then we also do the Pacific Northwest on the Columbia and Snake Rivers on one of our beautiful paddle wheelers. And it's just, of course, absolutely gorgeous up there, uh, up in the Pacific Northwest. So that's our river product, really quick overview of that. And we have two ships uh, on the Great Lakes. Uh, so basically what we do is um, Chicago to Toronto just going back and forth and hitting all five Great Lakes along the way. And that one is a nine night sailing. And it's really cool because you get to see all five Great Lakes. You get a little bit of Canada, you get a little bit of the US and you can either start or begin in Chicago or Toronto. And then during the shoulder months, we do a little bit of Canada, New England as well. And then um, our third experience is our expedition experience in Alaska during the summer. So we uh, just brought out a brand new luxury expedition ship and we'll actually be coming out with a second one in 2024. So right now we have seven vessels and by 2024 we'll, we will have eight. And uh, that's really a high level of, of what we do. We are pretty much all inclusive. We include all of our drinks, so non-alcoholic drinks, uh, your beers, wines, your spirits even, and that's all day long. So open bar on American Queen Voyages. We're having a good time on board. And then we also include tours. So every single port, you'll have something that is included, some sort of experience that's included. Uh, we include Wi-Fi, and then we also include one night before the cruise as well. So you, you get to fly in a day early, so it's nice and relaxed. You're not rushing straight to the be um, to the vessel. And you have that one night hotel for free and that's included in the cruise. So yeah, anything specific or more detail you'd like me to go into, Danny? Oh, that, that's beautiful. The, the, just a, a couple of other questions. Do, do you cater to a specific market or a, a specific demographics or is somebody in their 20s to 70s? You know, who, who would feel comfortable with you? Right, yeah, that's a great question. And even within the three different experiences of the rivers, the Great Lakes, and then the expedition, you're going to find a different demographic within all those three, even under the one umbrella. So for our rivers, we do find an older demographic, baby boomers, retired, empty nesters, uh, those that are looking for a slow um, a slow paced vacation. They're not going to be rushed. It's really laid back, easy going. And, and our paddle wheelers are very friendly for uh, those with accessibility needs. So even if you're confined to a wheelchair, you can still enjoy the entire vessel. You can still enjoy the hop on hop off buses that have, they have 
They've got mm -hmm. the, the lifts for the wheelchairs. Um, the gangways are typically flat. We have golf carts that will get you up to the top of the, of the embankment if needed. We have crews that are willing to help. So for accessible um, needs, those with accessible needs, uh, the, the rivers, the paddle wheelers are a great option for you. Uh, for the lakes, uh, it's going to be a little bit younger demographic because it is a little bit more of an active um, experience being on the Great Lakes. You're really getting out there and you're exploring these incredible destinations and the ships are not that accessible friendly. So if you do have accessibility needs, I would not go on the Great Lakes, unfortunately. But for all those other able-bodied people and those that are a little bit younger, maybe looking for more adventure, definitely the Great Lakes. And then, of course, the expedition is very active. So that's really for your active explorers, but you could be 90 years old and be an active explorer and be in great shape. Uh, we just, you, you just really need to be able to climb into a Zodiac, climb into a kayak. You have to be able to navigate stairs and steps, uh, but really for those that want to get out and kayak in the waters of Alaska and discover all the wildlife and the nature and the science that you can in Alaska. So really there's three unique experiences and it does draw and attract a different demographic. But um, even on our rivers though, we, we do get a younger crowd as well. We have multi-generations. So um, a little bit older of generations, maybe those that are in their twenties with their parents and then the, the, the parents of the parents. So oh, we yeah. don't really find kids on board. We don't have a kid scenarios. We don't have, you know, <laughs> rides or anything mm -hmm. like that. But um, it's a great, like, if you wanna, in, in, immerse your children in history in American history it's a great way to go um, you know it's a lot like a live field trip or, or a long field trip I should say all field trips are live right <laughs> well, it's you know educational I mean. experience it's not something where you're going to be at the beach or sitting by the pool and this exactly. is experience local culture exactly yes um, and I've learned so much about American history and American geography uh, working here and and taking cruises and and um, researching all the different ports that we go to. Yeah, there's, a, there's so much in our own backyard that we don't even really? realize. There really is. Well, this yeah. was perfect, Tiffany. I thank you for doing this and uh, sharing your insights about your amazing company and look forward to uh, uh, working with you. Thank you so much. Yeah, my pleasure. Thank you.